The last few weeks, we have not only seen extreme weather here in Florida, but also across the world, starting back on September 17th. Super Typhoon Namadal peaked as a Category 5 storm off of the southern coast of Japan, becoming the strongest storm anywhere on the planet in 2022. At the same time, Typhoon Murbach developed into a powerful extratropical storm off of the Alaskan coastline, bringing record-breaking conditions. Then, in the Atlantic, Hurricane Fiona was knocking out power for the entire island of Puerto Rico before turning towards the north and intensifying into a major hurricane passing by Bermuda and then making landfall on the Canadian Maritimes as a powerful extra tropical storm with hurricane strength winds. As Fiona was hitting Canada, a storm in the Western Pacific called Noru rapidly intensified from a tropical storm to a super typhoon with category five winds in less than 36 hours as it neared landfall in the Philippines. That storm tracked across the island of Luzon and then headed towards Vietnam. While back in the Atlantic, Ian was gaining strength south of Cuba where it made landfall, knocking out power for most of the country and then moved north where it strengthened to a category four storm where it made landfall tying for the fifth strongest storm system on record to make landfall in the continental United States. Then it impacted the first coast before moving off towards South Carolina. As Ian faded out, another hurricane Orlean made landfall in southwestern Mexico. It really has been busy out here across the globe over the last two weeks. Not only did we have powerful storm systems, but a few of them rapidly intensified. And with our warming oceans, this is going to become more and more common. And hurricane season's not over yet. So, of course, we're going to continue to track them here on First Coast News. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.